Today we're exposing the dark side of common drugs that you are taking that can potentially kill your kidneys. Sounds intense, right? So buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey into the world of medications that can kill your kidneys. Let's know the names of the drugs and what should we do to avoid them. Welcome back to the Kidney Zone. I'm Dr. Mo. Before we begin, please remember that this video is for informational purpose only. If you have any concerns about your kidney, about your health, or about your medications, it's very important to consult with a healthcare professional. But don't worry, it's not all about doom and gloom. By the end of this episode, you'll be armed with the knowledge to make informed choices and safeguard your precious kidneys against these medications. All right. Let's kick things off with the list of medications that have earned a spot in the danger zone. The ones that could potentially damage or kill your kidneys if not approached with caution. The first family are the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. We're talking about everyday pain relievers such as ibuprofen, Aleve, Motrin, Advil, and Naproxen. They might be the go-to uh, drugs for headaches or after gym soreness, but misuse can turn them into a kidney adversaries. Tylenol can be a safe alternative if you have kidney disease. However, Tylenol is not safe if you have liver disease. The next harmful drugs are certain antibiotics. Antibiotics like gentamicin and vicomycin, they can be lifesavers when used correctly. However, with potential kidney uh, problems, they can be troublemakers, especially if not monitored properly. Always let your doctor know if you have kidney disease prior to taking these antibiotics. Then the next family are also some blood pressure medications. Blood pressure medications, particularly the family of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers or ARBs. They are superheroes when it comes to controlling hypertension, but use them cautiously because if you have kidney disease, they can be problematic. Then there is the necessary evil of medical imaging, the contrast dye. It's vital for diagnosis, but it could be a, a very bad troublemaker if you're not careful, especially for those who have underlying kidney issues. So these are the names of the most common medication that should send a shiver down your spine if you're not playing by the rules. Now that we have identified the potential villains, let's talk about how to steer clear of the trap and keep your kidneys out of harm's way. The number one tip is always stay hydrated. H2O my friends, keep that water flowing. It's like shield protecting your kidneys from potential harm. Stay hydrated, stay safe. Number two. Regular monitoring, regular checkups with your healthcare provider are non-negotiable. They can keep your eye uh, on your kidney function and make adjustment as needed for your medications. Number three, mindful medication use. Follow the prescription guidelines religiously. Never play pharmacist with your own health. Stick to the recommended doses and durations. Number four, communication is key. Talk to your doctor openly share any concerns that might, uh, you might have about your medications or about your kidney health. Trust me, they are there to help you. Armed with this knowledge, you're not just a viewer, you're a guardian of your own health. Now, this is your chance to be a kidney health superhero. Share this video with your friends, with your family, and anyone you know who might benefit from this crucial information. Because knowledge, my friend, is power. And with great power comes great responsibility. The responsibility to keep your kidney safe and sound. So, as we conclude this eye-opening journey into the medication and their potential impact on uh, our kidneys, remember, knowledge is your greatest ally and your kidneys deserve nothing but the best. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a review or a rating on your favorite podcast platform for more kidney health related content. As always, take care of your health and stay hydrated. And thank you for tuning in to the Kidney Zone and we'll see you in the next episode.